Hey, have you ever seen a mouse? Well, we have quite a few mice in our house. That's right. Now, they are not the real mice. Don't get scared or upset or wondering what we do that we don't have our house clean. But we have these all kinds of mice hanging around our house because, as many of you know, we have cats and they like to play with the toy mice. So these are three toy mice. No, I don't play with them. The cats play with them. Uh, but what would you do if you saw a mouse? Would you scream? Would you run? Would you jump up on a table? Maybe you would go get a mouse trap. Would you cut off their tails? Oh, I hope not. But that does remind me of the song that we know about the mice, right? Three blind mice, three blind mice, see how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life? That's three blind mice. Well, three blind mice is a beloved rhyme and a musical song for kids, for children. In a round, I think we've sung it. Yeah, you can sing it in a round. Um, the origin of this song or rhyme goes back to 1609 when the first written version of this song, Three Blind Mice, was published by Thomas Ravenscroft. Now, according to some claims, the Three Blind Mice are the Oxford Martyrs or Three Bishops who were tried for heresy and burned at the stake in 1555 during a fight between Catholics and Protestants. There's some um, discussion about whether that is true or not and whether these were the three blind mice or the three blind bishops. Well, the modern version of the song was first included in children's literature much later at the beginning of the 19th century, and that's how we've learned it. Three blind mice, three blind mice, see how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life? as three blind mice. In 1904, John Ivamy wrote an illustrated children's book which he called The Complete Version of Ye Three Blind Mice. In this book, he makes the mice into mischievous little characters who seek adventure, eventually being taken in by a farmer whose wife chases them around the house and then into a thorn bush, which happens to blind them. Well, soon after that, their tails are removed by the butcher's wife. Well, the story ends with the mice using a tonic to grow new tails and recover their eyesight, learning a trade, buying a house, and living happily ever after. So I'm glad that that story has a happy ending for the mice because it would have been sad to see three tailless blind mice. Now, we may all know someone who doesn't see so well. Their eyes may not be working well. And you know, as we get older, our eyes change. Some of us have to wear glasses in order to see. Now, some of us also have had surgery to help our eyes. I've had procedures done to both of my eyes, to my corneas, so that they can stay strong and that they don't get weaker. And some people's eyes just don't work and they are blind. Um, Jesus healed people who were physically blind. We read of some of those stories in the New Testament. And we know that God is also concerned for those who are spiritually blind, those who refuse to see God and his love for us. 1 Corinthians 4, 4 says, The God of this world has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They can't see the light of the good news that Christ's glory makes clear. For Christ is the likeness of God. There are things that can blind us from seeing God. You know, one is how we treat each other. 1 John 2.11 says, Anyone who hates a brother or a sister is in the darkness. They walk around in the darkness, and they don't know where they are going. The darkness has made them blind. You know, God has given us a way to no longer be blind, but to see Him. Ephesians 5.8 says, At one time you were in the dark. But now you are in the light because of what the Lord has done. Live like children of the light. There's a hymn that says, Once I was blind, but now I can see. The light of the world is Jesus. Well, I am grateful that I can see God, that I am not blind like three blind mice, 
and that God has revealed himself to me, and I am choosing to look for God's presence in this world and to see him. I hope that you are too. So today, see God, see his ways, see his love, know that he does love us. Don't be like the three blind mice. Let's all look for God and for his ways and then live in them. Have a day filled with joy and a day filled with peace.